Hi everybody, Breaking Ebs here. Welcome to today's video. So today's video is a brand new player guide for Star Wars The Old Republic. <clears throat> so I'll be helping you through literally every aspect of the game from getting started and the stuff that you'll need to do in order to progress. This guide will also be for absolute brand new players with nothing free to play and it will aim to show you just how in depth the content is in this game so the first thing you need to do is choose whether you're going to be light side or dark side it's your choice I can't help you with that the second thing you need to choose is your class um, again that comes down to your preference, I can't help you with now that. You'll see what a Sith is capable of. So go ahead and create your character how you would like to create them and set them up. It really doesn't matter at this stage what class, what character. Um, you go ahead and select whatever you want. It's literally up to you and it should not affect your enjoyment of the game whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> in terms of head and customization, well, you know, you're absolutely spoiled for choice, really. And you can select whatever you want. Uh, you can have him as pretty or as uh, pig ugly as <laughs> I'm tempted. Okay, we'll go with that. Uh, yeah, we can give him amber eyes, I guess. But we want him to kind of progress to that. Uh, is his dark side so I'll give him I think the next one's light blue yep we don't want beards we do want scars uh, mm, we could give him that scar in terms of tattoos well if you dark side uh, you get to choose a whole raft of gorgeous tattoos Yep, I'm going to go with that one. Uh, not sure I want that head though. Yeah, that'll do. And I'm going to give him a real slim, slender body. Uh, we don't get to pick the hair colour. As this is a complexion, not a hair colour the beard and the shaved head which I really like and we need to give our character a name so let's go ahead and name it okay click on play start the game do the intro cutscene enjoy all next we'll set the game up ready to play At last, you've arrived. Good, good. There is much to do, and every moment is critical. I'm Overseer Tremel. For decades, I've administered the trials that prove who is and is not worthy to join the Sith Order. The trials are a chance to weed out the weak. Those who face them either survive and become Sith, or die. I think I'll take the first option. I didn't bring you here for levity. Yes, you are here and ahead of schedule because of me. I expect you to obey. You face your trials, you serve me, 
and I will make you the most powerful acolyte here. You had better be able to deliver that, Tremel. Leave your doubt at the door. There's no room for it in here, and no time to waste. The trials themselves are difficult enough, but they are hardly the greatest threat you face. There's an acolyte here named Vemrin. He's your enemy, and he will try to kill you. We must prepare you. Let him try. I'll destroy him. With my guidance, someday you'll destroy all your enemies. That practice sword you've arrived with is insufficient. The blade of lesser acolytes. You need a dominating weapon. In the tomb of Ajunta Paul, there's an old armory. A strong Sith war blade awaits you there. The tomb is thick with claw slugs. Deadly, savage creatures. Be speedy, but careful. They've been the end of many an acolyte. If they lack the instinct to avoid me, I'll feed them their heads. Once you acquire the war blade, I suggest you spend some time in the tomb bloodying it. Then come to me in my chambers in the academy. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is set up. The first thing you'll see is the login reward screens. So um, every day that you log in, you'll get a free reward, even as a free to play player. If you're subscribed, you'll also get one of the bottom rewards as well. But as we're 100% free to play, we only get access to the top. You also get a second tab galactic seasons reward and once you've earned enough rep this will start and unlock and you'll be able to claim one of the top rewards with a regular basis you won't have access to the bottom rewards unless you're a subscriber okay so what's the first thing we need to do uh, press your C key to bring up your character panel and if you're free to play you won't have access to this this will be locked out for you um, in terms of armor and armor sets again if you're free to play you'll have absolutely nothing so you won't have a ton of stuff that you can give him for free so that's how we're going to play it is if you're a 100% free to play player with nothing um, so we're not going to give him a companion at this level and indeed we could play the whole game the whole game old school without a companion at all um so i'm going to set him up to play uh, like that so the next thing you want to do is click this little padlock here unlock your skills bar and you want to drag the heel to either slot number two or whatever slot you want it in and it's important that you set it up for you come to the top to this little person icon and come down to abilities click on the drop down arrow and select general and we're gonna drag quick travel out onto our bar and release it and sprint out on our bar and release it click the cross to close that up and click the little padlock to lock your bar and stop you accidentally dragging stuff off. Next thing we're going to do is set the interface up. So press your escape key and uh, left click on preferences. Go to user interface. Make sure you've got a tick in show conversation alignment game scroll down right down and put a tick in show cooldown text and drag the text size slider all the way up to 20 you can choose whatever style you want that's your choice once that's done left click apply come down to social and put a check in allow access to same class personal phases left click apply uh, okay, come down to the second tab at the bottom here, key bindings. This is really, really important. Targeting, uh, so target the nearest enemy. 
I always select the tab key, left click apply. Come down to quick bar, skill 1, I map to key Q, skill 2, I map to key W, and skill 3, I map to key E. We also want to map equals, equals I tend to map to my number 0 on my number keypad, left click apply. OK, so now to target the nearest enemy, we press tab, we press 1 to attack, 2 to heal, and we press our number 0 key to force leap in and damage the enemy. Now, again, depending on your class and your combat style, Basically, we want our first key to be attack, our second key to heal, and our equals key to be our special move. <clears throat> and again, the way it works is press your tab key to target, press zero to do your special move, and then just spam your number one key, or whatever key you've mapped it to. And then to heal up, we just press the number 2 key. Bearing in mind, this is uh, full play without a companion, so we've got nobody healing us. This is kind of playing the game old school. And there we go, heal up. Uh, and the game really is as simple as that. And it doesn't really matter what class, as I say, or what specialisation you've chose it's pretty much the same so you have a, a specialist skill which is force leap for us as we're a warrior we have an attack skill which is our number one key and we have a heal up key which is number two uh, and that's pretty much it for the whole game we have a special extra damage key which is number three and it's that simple and you are good to go uh, for the whole game. Now, obviously, as you level up, you will get armor. Now, you need to make your mind up whether you're going to use the armor in game or whether you're going to use um, adaptive armor. Uh, armor in game, all you have to do is equip it. Uh, adaptive armor, well, you need to. Um, every four levels, add some adaptive armoring updates to always keep your armor current and up to date. But there is a cost to that, so it will cost you credits. Uh, doing armor yourself that the game provides is viable, but you will be wanting to do the heroic missions in order to obtain the latest super powered versions of the armor okay so that's enough for episode one i hope this is really helping you it's a terrific game one of the best free to game play games out there with an almost unlimited amount of content thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe from the videos up if you loved it down if you hated it i will see you for another wicked broken eves video